Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today is the last and final monthly favorite for 2022. Today I have my November favorites. Per usual, I'll just be doing my end of year yearly favorites, which I'm already thinking about the products I'm gonna be adding in. Let me know if you guys can guess any of the items that you might be seeing at the end of the year. Kind of feels like the Allure Best of Beauty, but just like, Judy's version, you know? So yeah, today is the last monthly favorite of 2022. It's honestly so bittersweet because this year, I know everyone is saying this, but truly, where is the time going, guys? I feel like there were just so many things I said I was gonna get done this year, and here we are. Still haven't gotten them done, but that's okay. I got some products here today that I'm really excited to share with you. So with that being said, if you guys are curious to see what I've been loving in the past month of November, then please continue watching. So today I feel a little bit like Hannah Montana because I feel like this is my alter ego look. The style, the colors, the purple, the silver is just very opposite of my usual style, but I'm here for it. And I'm looking at all my products. It kind of is matching my outfit today. We have a very mauve pinky color scheme. Unintentional, but it just happened to be like that. So I always like to go in order of application when I talk about my products. So starting off with the first item, it is actually contact lenses and the brand is called Moody Lenses. So I did a sponsored video with them, but any other time I'm talking about them is 100% not sponsored. I was only required to make that video. I've been loving this brand. I've been wearing them so much, but this specific style that I want to put you guys on has been my absolute favorite and this is from their Teenage Daydream collection in the style Misty Roses. It's what I'm currently wearing on my eyes right now. It is a daily lens so I only got five wears out of it and I literally this is my last pair guys it's my last pair and i'm so sad i definitely want to get more this style of context if you love a good dou ying little red book shell hong shu makeup look and you're always wondering what kind of context they're wearing it's usually this kind of style where it has a really light border around it really no pattern at all honestly but the color misty roses this color is very very unique i've tried a fair few pink contact lenses but nothing of this kind of shade it's literally mauve have you ever heard of a mauve contact lens before i personally have not i mean i haven't tried a lot of contact lens brands but mauve it's a really specific shade mauve you would think eyeshadow you wouldn't think contacts but this is literally mauve and whenever i'm wearing mauve shadows which i'm gonna mention and again this video is not sponsored by moody lenses i just did that one video moody lenses for me personally is extremely extremely comfortable i tried probably about like five different contact lens brands so of course you guys know i love o lens i love o lens but the thing with o lens they have the best styles but the comfort is not the best. It's not that Olens isn't uncomfortable, it's more like when you compare it to other brands. Comfort wise, it's definitely on the bottom. So while I still love Olens, I love their styles, it was really the first brand I got into with Contact, so I still love them, still wear them all the time. I've tried Harper Christine, I would say Moody Lens and Harper Christine, comfort wise, similar level. I've tried, I think, is it Desio? I tried one lens back in the day, and then I've tried Lens Town. So those are the brands that I've tried and now moody lenses so five brands and I definitely say moody lenses is on the top with comfort so I just mentioned a mauve shadow right I was talking about this one here from Catrice it's a single shadow it's in the shade 320 mellow mob I recently uploaded a video talking about Catrice products trending in China this was probably the top one um, this one got a lot of likes lots of saves and for a very good reason it's so pretty so affordable it's the most perfect matte mauve plum with a hint of like a reddish underbase it is so pretty i'm not wearing it today but of course i will add a cutaway for you it's just a really nice one and done shadow and with this context these two i know it's such an odd pairing like i'm recommending you a contacts with eyeshadow i feel a type of way i feel like a cool tone girly when i wear these two together it is just so so pretty um i absolutely love it and this is just so affordable the formula is really nice and buildable no kickback no fallout just a really beautiful single eyeshadow and you guys know i'm not really into single products but for this for this, I will be a single product girl. The next item I'm gonna put you guys on, girl, I have been wearing mm, literally 
how many days in November? I think it was 30, right? 30 days. I probably was wearing this 25 out of 30 days. That is how obsessed I've been with this one product, guys. And it's literally everything to me. Like, I kind of want to buy this for everyone in my life now because I'm like, girl, you will love this. You need this. So it is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Highlighter in the shade How Many Carrots. So this is a highlighter, but I've been using it as eyeshadow. I also uploaded a video um, showing my everyday makeup makeup look so I'll leave that in the cards as well and I showcase how I use this on my eyes it's literally the most beautiful sparkly glittery eyeshadow topper you could use it as an eyeshadow on its own you could use it as a highlight what's on my nose right now is this little glittery balm highlight look how reflective that is like it's such a reflective but glittery highlight eyeshadow it's just so pretty and when you have your flash on or at night time, your eyes are just sparkling. It is just so, so pretty. I know it's so expensive, okay? Fenty Beauty, not cheap, but Fenty Beauty, honestly, I think would be my favorite celebrity makeup brand. I've been obsessed with their lavender powder, which I mentioned last month. Still using that every day. It's what I'm wearing right now. It just matches with my style a lot more. And this product, guys, it's expensive, but girl, it is so good. It's multi-purpose. A lot of makeup products are multi-purpose, but this... Mm, on the eyes, beautiful. Then I have a mascara I want to share with you. When was the last time I shared a mascara favorite since my Hamish, Hamish, it's not Hamish, it's Hamish duty. I haven't found a mascara that I love so much. Honestly, mascara for me for the longest time wasn't really a product that I've been loving. I mean, if you've been following me for years, you've probably seen in my yearly favorites that I'm like, you know, mascara, whatever. But no, I'm changed. That is not the case anymore. Now that I have stopped sort of wearing lashes, but I'm getting a lash lift, I'm only wearing mascara. Mascaras are kind of appointed to me now. And my dear subscriber, Jean, she currently lives in Japan. And a few months ago, she sent me a box of so many goodies. I honestly still haven't tried everything she sent me. But I tried this mascara that she sent me. Um, I don't think the brand is called My Lash. I think it's called something else. But I will link it down below. I love the one, how it's quite skinny. But the way it kind of just lengthens my lashes. But it also gives a bit of texture. So I feel like if you don't like something so clumpy... Um, maybe you wouldn't really enjoy this one, but I love that. I love when my lashes look a little bit thicker. And if you want to like pinch your lashes together to get those manga lashes, this would be a really great mascara to do so. I'm not too sure about the price, but I don't imagine it being too expensive. The only thing is that it does dry out pretty quickly. I think within like two weeks, I could already see the formula changing a little bit. So that would be the only con, but formula wise, beautiful product. Then I have two lip products I want to share with you. One is more lip care. It is the Cosrx Lip Sleep Ceramide Lip Butter Sleeping Mask. You guys may know that I do have very, very sensitive lips. I'm very picky about my lip mask. And I've been loyal to the Bite Beauty Agave lip mask, but we all know, or maybe a lot of us know that Bite Beauty is closed down. They don't sell the lip mask anymore. I stocked up on five, but obviously that's not gonna last me forever. You know, I gave one away to my niece, so now I'm left with four. I think I finished one, so I think I'm left with three, okay? So I've been on the hunt to try and find my next favorite lip mask. Uh, for my really really dried lips and I think I found it. It just does the job, okay? It's not as thick as the Bite Beauty one, but my lips feel hydrated throughout the night. It's not scented, which is something I need. I can't do scented lip masks. That's just not my vibe. I know everyone loves Laneige and their lip mask and I'm sure it's great, but Laneige is not cruelty free, okay? This is cruelty free. So I've really just been enjoying this lip mask. I've been using it at night. You can see how much I've used. It's probably going to be my go-to lip mask from now. It's what I'm going to be repurchasing for my lips and I definitely would recommend it. This is not a new product. I believe a lot of people do love this as well, but it's new to me. And yeah, I think I found the one. Now I just have one final makeup product. The final makeup favorites of the year in my monthly favorites. It is what I'm currently wearing on my lips. It's the NYX Cosmetics Gloss in the shade Praline. So brown glosses has been trending in China a lot. And I got a few from NYX because I've seen it all over Little Red Book. I've seen it on TikTok. And Praline was one of the really, really popular shades. But it's a really nice 
brown like a wearable brown it's not like a really dark deep chocolate brown I just don't think that kind of brown suits me this is more of like a nudish brown and it's really muted but it has more of like a mauve undertone to it as well so it's a mix of mauve and brown just a really beautiful gloss I've been wearing this a lot when I do my mauve looks and cooler tone looks but I think it would pair really well with warmer looks as well so it doesn't really feel that sticky on the list but with that being said it's not the most like high shine juicy gloss but if you are wanting to get into gloss this would be a really great introduction into gloss because it's not so like Ooh, like sticky icky on the lips you know just so so pretty so I've been really really enjoying this one I've been grabbing for it a lot so next praline if you guys are wanting like a brownish gloss so yeah guys those were all of my makeup favorites I do have some lifestyle favorites that I've been loving wearing using so I quickly want to share them with you hopefully you guys do like the lifestyle favorites as much as the makeup favorites but the first item is in this little bag Vivian Westwood. I'm just a basic girl that got the necklace. This is the mini bass gold pearl necklace. I feel like everybody has this either in silver or gold. Of course, I got the gold, but I had my eyes on this for the longest, longest time, and I kind of just pulled the plug, got it as a little treat for myself, and it's just so pretty, and I've been wearing it all the time. I just knew it was a match made in heaven because it's pearls it's gold it just matches with everything this has been my go-to necklace this is not cheap at all um, but I do feel like Vivian Westwood's jewelry is pretty good quality I got gifted from my friend one of her earrings I was so amazed by the quality so it's not like in the thousands expensive but it's still a few hundred dollars which is still really expensive but just the quality you would think like this would be much more you know what I mean like I don't know but I just love her jewelry pieces and I definitely will be making more purchases but the necklace I just ah uh, so pretty so so pretty I have a drink bottle this one is from a brand called Frank Green which I believe they're either Australian or a New Zealand brand every girl here in New Zealand has this bottle I went to my Pilates class yesterday and literally two other girls had the exact same bottle same color same size in my class and keep in mind Pilates studio only holds about nine people so three out of the nine had the same bottle every girl has this bottle okay I first got this bottle because of my niece she's Gen Z or maybe not Gen Z she's 2009 so I don't know what generation she is what the generation letter is now but she is young okay she wanted one so I was like okay I'll get one too so she got the all black I got the all white my friend got the mint which I'm giving to her for Christmas and I'm gonna be definitely ordering some more for Christmas for other people as well it is just okay first off it's pretty I was struggling to find an all white stainless steel tumbler you know that keeps it cold or keeps it hot has a straw has a string so it's easy to carry this is the one liter they also have the 500 ml and two liters you can mix and match and yeah I just been drinking so much water I feel like when you drink water from a straw it just goes down a lot quicker and I'm literally obsessed with this like I take it everywhere with me it's part of my identity it's like part of my personality now is carrying this bottle I actually used to be that girl in high school I would carry like a 1.5 liter plastic bottle just carrying it like this walking around school that was my personality in high school and then on to the last two products I actually mentioned these in my Black Friday haul so you might have seen me talk about it there but I've been loving these since that video so I wanted to mention them again the first one is this bag from my mum made it that's the brand name isn't this bag just so cute it literally looks like a little pillow I kind of wanted to update you guys as well because I showed you that there was a stain and I did email them and they got back to me and they are sending me a a replacement which is nice but regardless the stain is inside and I've been using it anyway um, so I'm glad that I get two because I think it's the perfect size and I think it's just so my style you know it's my go-to bag I feel like this is gonna be the bag I'm wearing all summer I absolutely love it but yeah their service was really great like they were really kind about it um, I was thinking they were gonna give me like 
a refund or something or like credit but they are sending me a whole replacement so kind of just want to update you guys on that but then the last favorite is this candle that you probably have been seeing a twinkling in the background of today's video I thought I would bring it out should I just keep it out you know now that it's the holiday vibes it's the most perfect holiday candle the little carousel it came in a little gift set um, so it comes with a really really big candle and also the carousel and then a little mini perfume and that was all $100. I also got it on sale as well, so it was $90 for me. Such a great value. And I've been lighting it every night next to my Christmas tree, and it's just giving me the holiday vibes. It's next to the TV as well, so I'll put like a little fireplace background lo fi music on, and it's just the vibes. Even though in New Zealand we have Christmas and summertime, so the fireplace doesn't really like make sense for me, but it's just the vibes. I'm living my American Christmas dreams. Although I love it, I love all the decor, I just love the vibes on the actual Christmas day it does feel quite like lonely for me just cuz I feel like everyone's out celebrating with their family and they're doing something and like it's just all happy happy vibes but me and Harry usually are just home alone with the cats which is not a bad thing I do love it like, like that's my favorite thing in the world is being home with my cats but I just feel like my Christmas experience is not the same as other people and that's fine um, but it does feel like oh maybe I should be doing something but it's okay I'm just saying it's okay but like little things like this make me so happy for the holidays and I'm just so happy I got it like even Harry loves it he's not into these kind of things but he loves it so when Harry likes it it means a lot but like also look at my holiday tumbler tell me why tell me why a girl needs so many water bottles okay these are both always on my desk as well um but yeah this one is this one's from starbucks i'm low-key like trying to collect um not really i don't want to spend too much money on these but i thought for the christmas time gold you know you guys know my aesthetic right so these christmas things it just makes me happy those were all of my november favorites i really have been loving all of these products so so much i'm excited to start gathering my products for my end of year favorites i will be doing makeup and skincare usually i just do makeup but i thought i would throw in skincare this year i'm so excited but i'm also very very stressed i'm very stressed december is going to be just really busy um, with filming as well, but also, you know, it's the holidays. Um, I want to see all my friends before Christmas, give them their gifts. And this year, I'm seeing all my friends individually to give them their gifts. So it's a lot of going out. And my friend Denise and Kadeen and her baby are coming. Um, so that's like a whole weekend blocked out. So yeah, I'm just a little bit stressed for this holiday season. And I knew I was going to be, but it's fine. Um, it's just a lot. But anyway, that is the end of my monthly favorites for the year. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I truly do appreciate it. I love you guys and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!